what is cmmi now here you see department of defense along with carnegie mellon university and software engineering institute so this cmmi capability maturity model integration this is a framework that is process improvement framework it is proven and this is employed to improve the product quality so cmmi is equivalent to quality and also the development efficiency not even for hardware but software as well so as you see these two pictures united states department of defense cmu and sei they all are involved in developing it there are various giants like motorola ericsson many more they are involved in the cmmi definition cmmi has been established as a model to improve the business results the improvement of business result is the core of cmmi cmmi as you see here they are stage there are different stages actually five they use five levels to describe the maturity the level the organization has attained in terms of quality same as the previous one the predecessor cmm capability maturity model and this cmmi is vastly improved version of the earlier cmm the basic emphasis is on business needs integration and institutionalization cmmi stage representation there are five maturity levels of organization every organization is characterized as one so if the organization is level 1 it is called initial all the processes what does processes means all the way the work is done and a combined task and activity combination so the processes are unpredictable poorly controlled and often the approach is reactive not proactive something happens then we react if some organization is at level 2 it is called as managed processes let me give you one more example in software development life cycle sdlc there are different different uh, processes for example if you choose any of this waterfall or say spiral you have a design phase so that design is, is called as processes all the activities and tasks involved so in level 2 the processes are planned they are properly documented and whatever is written in the document they are performed and even monitored that is reviewed and controlled if something is not going up to the plan they are controlled but all this is at the manage level is only at project level this is very important only at the particular project level manage is also often reactive okay so these two are uh, reactive then we have the third level the third level is a defined what does it mean all these processes we talked about they are well characterized also well understood and the processes the standards if any company is following these standards may be made by the company itself or the organization itself all the procedure how to do the work the task and activities and the tools used to do that these are all defined not at the project level but at the organizational level as a whole so an organization may have multiple projects i am talking about all these at the organizational level this is proactive at defined level proactive quantitatively managed level 4 now here we talk about numbers processes see if you are at level 3 you are already at level 1 2 3 at if you are level 3 you have already attained level 1 and 2 likewise so at level 4 everything is done along with this we have statistical and quantitative technique for example just talk about software 
you are estimating using say kokomo model you are scheduling so and you are doing the you know the earn value analysis this is all you are doing and you have the numbers optimizing this is the highest level level number 5 if your organization is optimized that means along with all these 1 2 3 4 the processes are continuously improving the process performance is continuously improving through the incremental and innovative technological improvements this is how it goes this is the process maturity diagram